morning and welcome to the Morning Expresso by the Indian Express. My name is Rahel Philippos and let's get you started with today's big story. After a harrowing two weeks, Indian students stranded in the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy have finally moved towards Poltava in the central part of the country, from where they will be taken in trains to Ukraine's western border. The last group of Indians being evacuated from Ukraine, they will be flown home from one of the neighboring countries within the next couple of days. The two separate phone calls that Narendra Modi had with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky set the ball rolling for the final evacuation of about 700 Indian students from Sumi. Then came another hurdle in the form of transportation. It was hard to find drivers and the vehicles were mostly commandeered by Ukrainian army personnel. Finally, 12 buses were able to reach a point in Sumi from where they were able to pick up the students from a hostel. And now for our stories exclusive to the Indian Express. Just a day after Women's Day, actress Padma Priya Janki Raman writes on how women can lead the transformation of the Indian film industry. Over the last two decades, Ukraine has registered a phenomenal rise in the number of international students, particularly for students from India. Among all countries, India sees the highest number of international students to Ukraine, according to Ukrainian government figures. And among destinations of Indians studying abroad, Ukraine is one of the most favoured. We explain what makes Ukraine a study destination for Indians and others. And now for our stories from the front page. The Income Tax Department searched premises linked to three persons close to Sena leaders in connection with two separate cases in Mumbai and Pune on Tuesday. Officials said the Tax Department searched premises linked to Yuva Sena leader Rahul Kanal, a close aide of Sena leader and Minister Aditya Thakre, Sadanand Kadam, brother of Shiv Sena leader Ram Das Kadam, and Regional Transport Officer Bajrang Kharmate, who is known to be close to Shiv Sena Minister Anil Parab. India and China will hold the 15th round of core commander level discussions on March 11th to try and resolve the balanced friction areas in eastern Ladakh. Sources in the defence establishment said the 15th round of talks will be held at the India side of the Chushul Moldo border personnel meeting point. The last round of discussions between the core commanders took place in January but did not result in any breakthrough. With exit polls predicting that Uttarakhand and Goa results would end in a dead heat, political parties in both state capitals started preparing for post-election scenarios. In Goa, Congress candidates and party leaders would be gathering at a hotel on Wednesday, while the party was considering the same in Uttarakhand. The Congress had burnt its hands in Goa in 2017, when the BJP had stolen a march over it to form the government despite the party emerging as the single largest. Have you subscribed to Express Premium yet? Get exclusive access to investigations, insightful opinions, explainers as well as invitations to express events with your premium subscription. Find out more at the links below. Next up are our must-read stories. For 14 years, the residents of Nangal were forced to remain silent about the crimes committed by a local principal and school owner who consistently harassed girl students from two nearby villages. Last month, Nangal's most insidious secret was unearthed after 198 photographs and videos of three of his victims were leaked, leading to the 54-year-old principal's arrest. Following a trend seen in several other poll states in the recent past, UP witnessed a significant drop in the number of youth voters, those between the ages of 18 and 29 this time, compared to the last elections. The number of young voters fell from 4.06 crore in 2017 to 3.44 crore in 2022. This is particularly significant considering the unemployment rate among youth in UP is higher than the national average. Last week, railway officials in Agra noticed an unusual pattern. Six instances of trains hitting cattle within a few days on a stretch near Dholput. They were immediately able to identify the issue and fix it thanks to the Smart Event Tracking System, a new Google Maps-based planning and analysis tool deployed to tackle what officials say is a growing problem. Cattle getting run over by trains. And finally, it has been 71 innings across formats, a stretch of 838 days since Virat Kohli last scored 100. 100 once was to him a habit, an essence of his existence like his own breath. 
He scored a hundred every seven time he strode out, and then it stopped. The last time the nation waited so anxiously for a hundred was for his hundredth hundred. It became a sporting event in itself. And that's all for today's Morning Expresso. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Indian Express's YouTube channel for the latest news updates.